So in a previous video, I talked about Chrono Trigger, how it sits high upon a pedestal. Now, I talk about Chrono Cross. And I know a lot of people who love Chrono Cross, and I don't begrudge them that at all. So before I go on with this video, I want to tell you where I'm coming from here, which is I love Chrono Trigger, and I played that shit all the time as a kid. You know, I had my SNES hooked up, and that and Super Mario RPG, my RPGs of choice there. You know, and then we had Chrono Cross come out for the PS1, and it was advertised as a sequel to Chrono Trigger, right? It was a sequel to Chrono Trigger, so when I got that fucking game the first day it came out, I wanted a sequel to Chrono Trigger. And that's where all of the rest of this video's vitriol comes from. Which is that it's not a sequel to Chrono Trigger. It's not. It isn't. Sorry. It's gonna be a great game. Fine. It's great and colorful and pretty. I have problems with the combat system and the magic. I mean, really, a game where you can just beat everything by attack button. Like, I didn't use magic because it seemed pointless. <laughs> and I won the whole game pretty easily. So, there's that. But more importantly, back to that it's not a sequel to Chrono Trigger point, because fuck it wasn't. That it had nothing to do with it, and I was playing it continuously, pretty expecting something. I want some Chrono Trigger in this game, and I didn't get any. Not, there's no Chrono Trigger here. But, there's Shala at the end, and shut it. Shut the fucking mouth there. That what had nothing to do with Chrono Trigger. That whole ending sequence you get with that seven element bullshit, that had nothing to do with Chrono Trigger. If you've actually seen the ending, you know what I'm talking about. What, what, ha huh? Why? What, why did any of this happen? <laughs> that was what that ending left me with. Okay, so I'm looking at this from the angle of it's a sequel to Chrono Trigger still, because again, that's on the back of the goddamn case. It's a sequel to Chrono Trigger. And I'm, at the end, I'm still left like, where? why is this a sequel to Chrono Trigger? How is this a sequel to Chrono Trigger? Where was Chrono Trigger in the game at all? Like, Luca, a picture of Luca's in it. What? The, the, no. No, it's not a sequel. And thus, I played it with this expectation that was never fulfilled. And perhaps if that didn't happen, I could like this game more. I really could, I'm sure. It was pretty. It had a great soundtrack, it, but it did not deliver the one thing I wanted, and I played that game entirely expecting one thing. And when you have one expectation of something and it does not fill that one expectation you have of it, it's hard to like it. So if you are listening to this having never played the game, this is not me telling you do not play it, especially if you haven't played Chrono Trigger either. Play this game, it's great then. But for me, and I know others like me who it played this expecting something that was never delivered, the game smells slightly of treachery. Why did they advertise it as a sequel to Chrono Trigger? I still don't get it, and I probably never will. Maybe someone in the comment section can point out some hitherto unforeseen connection that makes it all work and somehow makes everything flow together where this has something to do with Chrono Trigger beyond, hey look, these guys, they're actually related to something from Chrono Trigger, but they really don't do anything like them, act like them, or look like them. But they, they're somehow linked. There, you can give me something more than that, I'd appreciate it, but as far as I can tell, and i played it a few times, it it's basically a bunch of reference to canon and then an entirely different game. So that's that. I really don't even have anything to say about Think About It or anything. This game disappointed me, and to be fair, it wasn't for an entirely fair reason, but god damn it, why did they advertise it that way? 